Hello guys, this is Adip. Welcome to my channel Movement Science where I simplify biomechanics with Joe. This is a part 2 of your lever system. If you haven't checked out my previous video that is part 1, you can check it out over here. In this video, I will be focusing on how a same joint with same muscle but different movement can act like a second lever or a third lever system, right? So here we will be focusing on a similar joint but different lever system and how it works, a concentric versus an eccentric activity of the muscle. So we will be focusing on that and if you want to know what exactly is lever system and how to memorize it and how it works, you can check out the part one, okay? So with that, let's get started. So in today's video, we are going to talk about the liver system. Now I've already covered liver system in a previous video. Here in this video, what we are going to do is look at a second liver system basically, and then see how that second liver system can also act as a third liver system with the same muscle, same joint, but a different movement. So that is what we are going to compare in here today. If you want to really learn about what exactly liver system is, that you can check out in the previous part one of the same topic, right? So let's get started. So liver system, we have three, right? Basically, this is a lever and it moves around a fulcrum that is a fixed point, that is your F. So if it acts like a seesaw, that is fulcrum is in the middle and the other two ends are moving, that is first lever system, first degree lever system, right? An example of it is your head, which is going into flexion and extension. This is your head, which is going into flexion and extension. And this is happening on the occiput, right? And the muscles that are doing it, you can say are your flexors over here and the extensors on the posterior side. So that is a classic example of your first order liver system, right? Now, coming to the second and third, what do you see here? So I'll give you an example of a simple humerus over here and your radius, okay? And to the radius, your biceps tendon will attach, right? So now what is happening? If you have a weight in your hand, which is pretty heavy, you won't be able to hold it. And you, the, your arm will slowly start lowering down, okay? So when this is happening, the gravity over here is winning, right? The gravity or the weight over here that is pulling your arm down is winning because the movement is happening downward. The biceps is trying to pull it up, but it is losing because it's not strong enough and gravity is winning. So, as you see, whatever is winning, we call it effort arm in second degree. So, the effort arm becomes the longer one, E over here. And the shorter one, that is the resistance arm, is the biceps acting over here, right? Biceps is trying to pull at the fulcrum of your elbow. So, the movement is happening at the elbow. And this is your resistance arm, which is short in the second degree. And the effort arm is longer, right, in the second degree. So how do you remember that? F-R-E-E, -E, free. First degree, the fulcrum is in the middle, yeah. There is fulcrum in the middle, resistance arm on one side, effort arm on the other side. In second degree, resistance arm is in the middle. You can see R over here, right, resistance arm. The biceps is trying to pull it but it is losing, that's why it's called as the resistance arm. And the effort arm, whenever you put the effort, you win. And that is the effort arm, that is gravity that is winning over here. So effort arm, you can see is bigger than the resistance arm and the resistance arm is in the middle in second degree. And what happens in the third degree? Effort arm is in the middle. So if we take this example over here, again, same example, your humerus radius, right? And there is your biceps muscle. Now this time the weight is such that your biceps is strong enough to pull your elbow into flexion. So this is the weight and the biceps is pulling. 
so because the biceps is winning over here this time the distance from your fulcrum right this is your fulcrum over here from the fulcrum to the effort arm this much distance is your effort arm and the resistance arm is quite big from the fulcrum all the way to the weight that is your resistance arm so that is the third degree same example here flexion is happening here extension is happening of the elbow eccentric activity of biceps concentric activity of biceps if you are still finding it hard to get the get your head around what is resistance arm what is resistance arm and effort arm you can again check out my previous video there i have properly explained what is resistance arm and effort arm this video is to focus towards how the same joint acts like a second degree and third degree lever system right in the same joint same muscle but different movement now we'll take another example of your quadriceps muscle so this is your femur okay bone this is your tibia bone and this is your foot now when you are sitting okay when you are sitting like this this is your head and what is happening when you are lowering it down when you are lowering your foot down the gravity is winning correct the gravity is winning and the quadriceps is slowly lowering it down right Quad the movement is not happening in favor of quadriceps so what will happen it this will be your this point will be your resistance arm and the fulcrum is obviously the knee joint over here so distance from the knee joint to your uh, point of insertion of quadriceps will be your resistance arm and the point where the gravity is acting that will be your effort arm right so somewhere over here will be your effort arm so you can see again over here that effort arm is bigger than the resistance arm effort arm bigger than the resistance arm in the second order now if you take that same example and compare it to a third degree liver system again the same joint same muscle this is the fulcrum over here the quadriceps is working correct and quadriceps this time is winning so it will be pulling your leg up into extension and as it does that you can see the effort arm e over here is very small because it's winning right quadriceps is winning over here over here quadriceps was losing so effort arm is much bigger compared to your resistance arm because gravity is trying to pull it down but it is losing over here gravity was winning because the leg was going down over here leg is going up gravity is trying to pull it down but quadriceps is winning so that will be your resistance arm a longer one right so here resistance arm is longer than the effort arm and fulcrum is always at the knee joint so you can see in a eccentric activity it's a second order liver system whereas in a concentric activity it is a first order liver system with the two different examples now you can do this to different joints different muscles in your body so you can experiment with it so that your concept of liver system gets very strong and solid so that's all i wanted to explain in this video again if you are not exactly getting your head around this you can always check out my first video in which i have clearly mentioned what is fre the mnemonic how to remember it the whole liver system concept right so with that we finish up this topic that's all for today guys thank you for watching